Hey, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the workout you're about to watch. It was filmed for a Facebook Live series. There's 12 workouts in total, but in order uh, to upload them via Facebook Live, I had to use the camera in my laptop or my cell phone. So the video and audio quality might not be where I want it to be, but hopefully you can still utilize these workouts for what they were intended for. And that is to help get you jump started towards your health and fitness goals. So without further ado, here's your workout. My name is Rich Rodriguez with Healthy Fit Bootcamp. We're gonna get ready to go through our third workout video where we got three exercises, 30 seconds each, back to back to back, followed by a 30 second break, and we're gonna keep going through it until we get four rounds total. Remember, these workouts are designed uh, to be simple and to go over basic movements to help get people get jump started when it comes to their health and fitness goals. Now, if you're currently working out right now, you could always use these workouts as a supplement, a little add-on. It's gonna be about eight minutes, and we're gonna get started first with some high knees. I'm just gonna go over the three exercises, and then we'll, we'll get into it. We're not gonna waste a lot of time here. And just FYI, my son Isaac is here today, and he might do this a lot, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, first exercise is gonna be High knees. So you're either going to run or march in place, getting those knees up nice and high. Don't do it right now. I'm just going over it with you. So from the side, we're picking those knees up. If we're running, we're moving the arms. If we got to take out the impact, we're going to march those knees up. And we're going to do that as quickly as we can. Second exercise, we're going to go from moving very quickly to not moving at all. I'm kind of here in the corner right now. It's not the best shot on your screen being in the corner, but I have to be because the second exercise is gonna be wall sits and I wanna make sure I show you how to do them. We're gonna have our back on a wall. We're gonna have those knees over our ankles and thighs parallel to the floor. We're just gonna hold it and reflect on our life, okay? If we're watching the knees a little bit, we might be up a little bit higher. Now it's gonna burn these quads up so if at any time you got to get up and just kind of shake them out real quick, shake them out and get back into it, okay? And then the last exercise we're going to do will be a set of frog squats. There are two options for it. There's a jumping or hopping option, and then there's the non-jumping or hopping option. Both options start with your feet together. If you're hopping, it looks like this. Hop out, squat down. Head and chest stay up. Come up and in right here. If you're not hopping, we just step out to the side and squat down. Your hands are coming down between the knees, reaching towards the floor, but don't feel like you have to touch the floor. From the side, you can see right here, I'm keeping my head and chest up. I don't want you bending down and, and touching the floor, okay? So those are our three. We're gonna get started with those high knees first. I'm getting my timer going. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Now remember, if you're not running in place, we're going to march in place, okay? First round, let's go. Getting those knees up, moving those arms. I'm going to show you from the side. This is us running in place. This is us marching in place, right? If we're watching the knees, the ankles, we might go with this option, or if we haven't worked out in a while and we're just getting back into it, we might start with this option, at least for the first round. And then if we're feeling pretty good, we can always go to this option, the later rounds. Five seconds, we're gonna wall sit. Ready, find a wall. Your back is on the wall. Again, knees over your ankles, thighs about parallel to the floor. And we're just here thinking about what we did to deserve this right now, right? Because these quads should be burning up because they're not getting a break. These quads are working the entire 30 seconds here. And we're gonna keep them working with our frog squats here next in three, two, one. Remember, start with those feet together. If you're hopping out, it looks like this. If we're stepping out, it looks like this, but it's a wide stance squat. Those feet are gonna be wider than your shoulders. Now it's the first round, we're still getting warmed up, so we have to keep the range of motion a little bit shorter. We can, and if we're watching the knees, we probably want to keep it short 
Anyways, okay, a few more reps here. I'm gonna go back to the hopping option and relax, just like that. First round done. Catch a breath. We got a 30 second break. We're gonna go over it three more times. Remember, we're gonna start with those knees first. High knees. Now, if you were just marching the knees up the first round and you felt like, maybe I can run, give it a try. Maybe you do it for half the time and you go back to marching. If you felt like maybe marching is the best option, stay with it. Either way, let's go. Knees are back up. We want to move. Even if we're marching, we got to do it with a purpose. Right? We can't just be like this. Because guess what? Yeah, you're moving, but are, are you really doing your best? Right? I want you to do your best no matter which option you go with. Running, marching, doesn't matter. Five seconds, we're going wall sit. Two, and one, find that wall. Take a deep breath. This is where you're going to catch your breath. Burn these legs up. All right, if you guys shake them out at any time, remember, we can always shake them out. Get back into it. Try to hold it as long as you can. We're down to 10 seconds, and they're going right back into our frog squats. Just like our high knees. If you want to try hopping it out, you have that option. All right, bring it up. This is the hop out. My head and chest are up, right? Whether you're wearing something on the front of your shirt or not, I should be able, if you were wearing a logo on the front of your shirt, I should be able to see it the entire 30 seconds. Meaning we're not doing this. We're not looking down, head and chest up. Sit in your butt back into that squat. Waving the heels of our feet. And relax, two down. Two to go. Catch a breath if you need water. We got about 20 more seconds till we get into our third round. Now our body should be pretty warmed up. We're gonna keep on working on increasing the speed if we can, especially on these high knees. And we're gonna work on trying to get a little bit lower on those squats as long as it doesn't bother your knees. Third round, we're getting those knees up. Let's go. Pick them up. Quickly, like the ground is on fire, right, from the side, right here, ground is on fire, we don't want those feet on the ground too long, it's just like you're at the water slides, we know that cement is burning hot, you're jumping from puddle to puddle, that's what we're doing right here, knees up, we're going wall sits, on the wall. Remember, back on the wall, good posture, with that upper body, catch your breath. You need to shake the legs out, you can. Remember, if we're watching the knees, we might sit up a little bit higher, but those quads are still working regardless. Eight seconds. We got frog squats next. Three, two, one, off the wall, into that frog, either hop or step it out. If you're stepping it out, it's important that we're not turning it into a side lunge, okay? You step it out, squat straight down. All right, the weight should be even in both feet here. I'm gonna show you from the side, just so you can see. I'm keeping my head and chest up, sitting my butt back and down, five seconds. And relax. Last 30 second break. Isaac just fell down. He looks good. <laughs> that was our last 30 second break. That means we got one round left. 15 seconds. He's trying to throw a tennis ball at me right now. So I'm a little scared. I'm not wearing my athletic supporter today. Five seconds. We're going to get those knees up. Ready. And let's go pick them up as quickly as you can, as many as you can. Don't care what option you're going with, right? If you're marching it, it's quick. Come on, let's go. Pick them up from the side. Look how high I'm getting them up here. I'm not here. Pick them up, pick them up. Eight seconds. 
We're gonna go back to that wall stick. Three, two, two. one. Back on the wall. Isaac, you're blocking my excellent wall sit here. Come here. Come here. If you have a baby, you want to make it more challenging, you put them on your lap, and then you say, why the heck did I just do that? That was dumb. Ten seconds. We're going to finish with our last set of frog squats. Three, two, one. Off the wall. Thank you, sir. Frog squat. So finish it out. Step out. <laughs> yeah, if you're not jumping, I'm gonna try to stay right where he's not. <laughs> stay in the frame, son. It's all good. Come on, finish strong. Right? We're not crawling across the finish line. We're running right through it. Five seconds. <laughs> and perfect. Great job. Catch your breath. I gotta catch mine. It's hard talking and jumping and holding Isaac like I'm Santa Claus all at the same time. So deep breath for me. High five for you because you continue to come on here and you continue to get this little workout in. It may only be eight minutes, but guess what? Some people are doing zero minutes and eight minutes is a hell of a lot better than zero. So again, high five for that. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to tell me how you did on this workout, go ahead and leave that in the comments area of this post. Share this with anyone that uh, needs to get a jump start, someone who's been talking about it but hasn't been doing it. Okay, talking the talk, but not walking the walk. All right, bye guys. Thank you for kicking butt with me today, and if you enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and share this with anyone you think would benefit from this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you're notified anytime we upload a new workout. If there's anything you would like to see us post in the future, or if you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below.